If you are trying to max out your theme team and you are in need of coins, look no further than my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins on the market and they are easily the most reliable site out there. Use code JOCK at checkout for 5% off your order. There will be a link to the website in the description below. Golden Ticket Contenders 2. Cordero Patterson was in the first video. I just really like this card. I actually bought it. I think it was like 45k or something like that. 62238. If this card isn't a golden ticket by the end of the year, uh, I don't even know. I might just stop playing Madden forever and just quit YouTube. But this card is like so sick. Come on, guys. But yeah, we've got around like 10 cards right now that we're going to take a look at in this video. That would be absolutely phenomenal golden tickets. Lots of good options. But yeah, these these videos like aren't really too serious. It's just me, you know, sifting through Mudhead and finding like absolute freak of natures uh, in Madden that would make pretty cool golden tickets. So, you know, don't take it too seriously or too personally if I don't pick like your favorite card or something like that. Before we take a look at our first contender, I would greatly appreciate if you hit that sub button. We post daily muck content over here on the channel. Say what's up down in the comments. 150 likes and I got you boys with another banger tomorrow. Also, don't forget to turn on post noties. Join the noti gang. So our first golden ticket contender not the josh allen that you know you guys would expect we're not talking about buffalo bills josh allen we are talking about jacksonville jaguars josh allen this is the card we liked right here 89 overall zero chill promo josh allen at left end i know it's not the most exciting card that we're going to start off with but he's an 89 overall right this card is six foot five 262 pounds he has 86 speed 88 excel as a defensive end his block sheds a little low but i think uh, if I'm not wrong, I think block shed is one of the things that you can actually increase. You can choose to increase. It's just the uh, the physical stats, like uh, speed, agility, excel, those stats. I don't think you can increase those. But block shed, finesse move, power move. Let me know down in the comments. I think you would be able to bump those up. Because the way they were doing it last year, you could pick five categories or five stats on a card in your golden ticket and choose to you know increase those make those 99 overall but regardless josh allen i think this card would be a pretty good golden ticket coming off the edge especially you know showing love to some jacksonville fans maybe the jacksonville theme team could use them at left end moving over to the offensive side of the ball aj dillon 88 overall team of the week power back he is six foot 247 pounds an absolute behemoth a monster Remember, he's an 88 overall with 90 speed and 89 excel. Very interesting. Very interesting for a back that weighs 247 pounds. I think this AJ Dillon might be a little cracked, might be a little underrated for the golden ticket, you know, contender, candidate, whatever you want to call it. You know, maybe raise up his break tackle a little bit, raise up his truck, and then maybe like his short route running for out of catching out of the backfield or juke move or whatever you want, stiff arm even. But I think this card, 247 pounds, boys. Shout out to Juju one time. I think AJ Dillon has got to be one of these cards that gets a golden ticket because it's a. I think it's a heavier, faster Derrick Henry. So if you're thinking running back for golden ticket, there's going to be the Bo Jacksons. There's going to be the Lamar Jacksons, which is basically a running back. There's going to be a Mike Vick. There might be like an Alvin Kamara or something like McCaffrey or something like that. Definitely give AJ Dillon a look. You'd be doing the Madden community a crime. If you didn't take a look at this AJ Dillon card, six foot two forty-seven. So this is more of a low-key guy, right? John Franklin the third. I don't know if you guys know who he is. I'm almost hundred percent sure that is the wrong picture for his card for EA. He is a receiver slash DB on uh, Tampa Bay. Played one game. He's six foot one, eighty-five speed. Most people should know this guy if you watched. Um, what's the show? Last chance you. Six one, eighty-five speed as a sixty-four overall silver receiver card, but. If they could get the right card art in this game, you know, if EA actually did their job right for once, you know, I feel like this would actually be a pretty cool card. Thinking back, John Franklin, wasn't he Florida State? I know Florida State, Auburn, something like that. Uh, he was bounced around a lot. Actually ended up landing a spot on an NFL team. And if he was on the Bucks this year, he got a ring, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool story. All you'd have to do is just bump up his route running and then probably, uh, yeah, so the three things I would bump up on this card, he's going to get 99 speed. He's going to have very high jumping, probably bump up catching, uh, short, medium, and deep route running. If you guys know what the school, the Juco school was in uh, Last Chance you definitely let me know down in the comments. I'm forgetting it, and I don't feel like looking it up because I'm lazy. But John Franklin could be a pretty cool golden ticket. So they don't have our boy Harold's, uh, they don't have his 92 on the auction block right now. They do have his power up. I don't really need to go over the stats for this card because he is 6'8". He's a 6'8 receiver, the tallest player in the game, I'm almost 100% sure. Uh, six foot eight receiver, high speed for his card overall. There's not really much I have to go into, 
you know, with, with Harold Carmichael here, other than the fact that he is six foot eight. So if someone's feeling, you know, like making a meme golden ticket and actually a card that'll probably be unstoppable, you know, in weekend league and stuff, Harold Carmichael, six foot eight, 225 pounds. Definitely give him a look. He has a 92 overall most feared card. If I'm not mistaken, six foot eight, Harold Carmichael. Definitely, you know, if you want to make a receiver, why not? Why not make the guy that's six foot eight? He also gets for chems. I wrote it down right here. He gets Eagles chems, but he also gets Dallas chems as well. So if you're either Eagles or Cowboys fan, theme team potential. Just in case, uh, just in case, you know, someone comes out and actually makes a Harold Carmichael golden ticket. We want a corner that's going to get the job done, you know, and be able to lock him up. So we're going to take a look at Chris. Westry, yep, Westry. I actually just bought them. I don't know why, but we're gonna buy all these cards so I have like you know a little gallery, a little bank of you know the golden ticket contenders that we actually have. Six foot four, Chris Westry, cornerback, 64 overall, has 86 speed. That is absolutely absurd. On Mutthead, on the page on Mutthead, someone literally said, if this card isn't a golden ticket, it's a crime or something like that. 64 overall, 6 foot 4, 199, 86 speed. All you would have to do is bump up uh, his man and zone is pretty low. His press is actually not bad. So that might be, you know, like a 97 or a 98. But this card would probably be one of the best corners, if not the best cornerback in the game. 6 foot 4, 86 speed, and he's a 64 overall. Come on now. I'm too good at it. I'm too good at this. I'm finding the gems. I literally should be a professional miner. I don't know. Next card. This is going to be our second receiver of the video. Six foot five, Cam Sims. He has 93 speed as a 91 overall. This card is pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Six foot five, 215, and uh, he gets Washington football team count. And you guys know Washington is one of the best theme teams in the game right now. So this would definitely add some strength to their receiver position. Imagine him, uh, Santana Moss, and Terry McLaurin coming up against you. It's pretty much lights out. If this card was made, it would basically be, you know, the Randy Moss of the Washington football team. 6'5", 214, 93 speed. You know, bump up his deep route running a little bit maybe. And uh, and this card's looking absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I think, I think this is one of the cards I like the most. I'm not going to lie. Looking at my sheet right here, I would be pretty damn excited to see a Cam Sims golden ticket in this game. Plus, the card art's actually, like, not terrible. Imagine, like, the gold behind him with, like, his long ass dreads and he's got a speed flex. It looks cool. His gloves, he's iced out. He's got that little sleeve on. I like this card. I like this card, boys. Okay, moving on to the next one. That was our last receiver too, I believe. But our last receiver, probably in this entire series, I could probably find a couple more good ones, but John Ross at 5'11". This would be a deep route runner of absolute burner. He's got 89 speed as a 74 overall. This would be 100%, you know, a 99 speed card. We would jack up his deep route running and probably his medium and short. And then I would say pump up his spec catch or maybe catching traffic. I don't really know. But John Ross had a 74 overall. I want to put Marquise Goodwin here, but he is 5'9", I think. I also wanted to put DeAnthony Thomas here, but he's like 5'8". We need a guy that's at least 5'11 to make these plays. You know, John Ross the third doesn't get a lot of team cams. He only gets bangles, but, you know, it is what it is. 89 speed. Speed kills, dude. And, and you know, this would be a really good receiver, especially... If you jack up his route running and say maybe you run a Bengals theme team by the off chance. Uh, I, I actually might run a Bengals theme team. I might run a Bengals theme team. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see a Bengals theme team. Maybe either Bengals or Jags around like draft time so that we could get a Burrow or a Trevor Lawrence. Possibly, possibly. Stay tuned, boys. Stay tuned. And we're going to take a look at two running backs. This running back right here was one of my favorite all-time players to watch in college. Bo Scarborough was an absolute tank. He is 6'1", 232. Uh, you know, as you guys can see, high speed, high excel cards. 71 overall with 79 speed and 82 excel. Weighs a lot. 6'1", perfect size for a running back. We'd probably have to bring up his brake tackle and trucking. Uh, those are a little bit too low. I don't really like that right now. But Excel, speed, great, agility, good. Catching, a little bit low, but if we could, I'm not exactly sure if we could bring up his break tackle, that would be ideal. This is a biased selection, though, I'm not going to lie, and it's at the end of the video, so it's fair. But Bo Scarborough, you know, it was one of my favorite college players of all time, and uh, I think it'd be really cool to see him get a good card in Madden. His card art's kind of cool. He also would get, what, Detroit and Seattle counts. So, theme team applies to two different teams. I don't know. 
Stiff arm's decent for a 71, you know. This car looks good. It, it, good size, you know, unless you guys want to use Bo Jackson for the rest of the year. Maybe take a look at Bo Scarborough. I also have one more running back, uh, which is a, another good selection, which isn't biased at all. So 84 overall, Jalen Hurts running back, 6'1", 222. Basically the exact same thing as uh, Bo Scarborough. 84 overall with 86 speed, 76 break tackle, 89 excel, 87 agility. This card is good. 87 change of direction. It would be pretty cool seeing Jalen Hurts as a running back, not gonna lie. 99 Jalen Hurts running back? Do we do it, boys? Is this is it worth is it worth it? You know, that's what I'm gonna take a look at right now. Uh his running stats, stiff arm is horrible. Trucking horrible. Those are things we could probably, you know, juice up though. Juke move is good, spin move is pretty bad, pretty atrocious, not gonna lie. But Jalen Hurts running back, that's what we're more focused on. The name, the name and how the card looks. Would it play good? Eagles theme team. I feel like I picked a lot of Eagles today. I kind of wanted to go through, you know, more rapid fire, a little bit more casual. If you guys watch Golden Ticket uh, Contenders 1, I, I go into the cards a little bit more and describe them. And those are all really good selections. These are kind of like the second tier selections. Aside from AJ Dillon, who I think could be really good. Cam Sims, who could be absolutely phenomenal. And uh, Westry could be really good. AJ Dillon could be really good. Uh, Josh Allen, I think I said. Did I say Josh Allen? I'm not entirely sure. But there's a couple guys in here that could be really good golden tickets. All the other ones kind of like second tier, more casual. You know, just guys I found that could be fun. But if you guys watch Golden Ticket Contenders 1, all of those choices are very, very solid. Very solid. You know, this is basically my golden ticket Bible that I am publishing out to the public. So if you guys want to take any of these recommendations, if you pull a golden ticket and run with it, absolutely feel free to do so that's exactly why i am making these but yeah that's gonna do it for the videos if you enjoyed our selections for today's video definitely smash that like button say what's up down in the comments let me know if i missed anyone give me any recommendations i'll put them in the next video uh don't forget to turn on post noties and if you're new to the channel just subscribe please like why why not it's free i pump out good content every single day or at least content that i'm proud of i don't i don't know i gotta get to the gym i'm signing out jock sign out